Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Life, overseer of Breath of Life Prayer and Intercessory Ministry um, in West Africa, Liberia, and also in the United States. I come to speak to the people of Liberia this evening because I've been hearing so many bad news from you from 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 my son, who's the over, who's the pastor of uh, Liberia, ordained pastor of Liberia to run the birth of life church now let me let you guys know something whatever we do we do it we are doing this work under the grace of god we are not operating in ourselves so any mouth that rises against us anything that come against us to to rob of of destiny and purpose whereas god is using us to work hard and support the people in Liberia to have a roof over their head they have a church to to have a church to uh, 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 go into and you people are castigate thank you you people are castigating us you are saying that the money is coming from this place and that place no it is my hard-earned work money that God has given me a good education God has given me the grace to be able to do what I have to do in 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 America so listen let me tell you something it is by it is by no other power we operate but the power of God so I want you guys to know if you are in the church to put the name of the church down if you are in the church to, 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 to scatter the sheep if you are in the church to spread your, your gossip and your rumors, I forbid you on this day, leave the church now because you're causing a curse on your life. You are causing a curse on yourself. I'm the general overseer for the church and I am the Achilles mother. And because my son has knowledge and I know that God has called him, I'm not going to allow him to allow people to take advantage of him because he's a young man. No, it won't happen. God gave us the vision and I quickly ran with the vision to help my people in Liberia. But if you guys do not learn to respect authority, I ask of you not to leave. Never come back again because you are a, 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 a rebellious spirit. And that is witchcraft. Complete witchcraft. Do not attend the church if you know you don't have a good heart for the church. You don't do nothing for the church. You don't pay your tithes. You don't pay your offering. You don't do nothing for the church. But you come to, to, to choir practice and you want to insult the pastor because you think he's a young man. Look, little girl, I don't know who you are. But I tell you one thing. You need to stop doing the devilish things that you are doing. Yes, Breath of Life is your church. Yes, Breath of Life loves you. But you need to learn respect. My church stands for respect. The church of God of Jesus Christ, our house of prayer, we stand for respect. If you don't respect the people, then you have to leave. And I mean it. I truly mean it. I'm going to be coming to Liberia very soon. Uh, when I enter into the state, the state of Liberia, things are going to change miraculously. No, I'm not God. But God is going to use me to feed your words that you need to hear. God is going to use me to help you understand what it is to have a ministry and run a ministry. You think it's an easy thing? Oh, it's not an easy thing. It comes out of the heart of a, a, a person that loves God. Out of the heart of those that loves the Lord God Almighty. And I'm telling you, if you try anything in that church, those witches and wazos, those warlocks, every time I sleep, I can see you sitting down around the church trying to do your ignitation. But I bound you with the blood of Jesus. I bound everything that will come against the name of breath of life. That is God's church. That is God's ministry. And if you come against it, the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn you down. If you don't know how to respect the elders in the church, the fire of the Holy Ghost will teach you. And when he teaches you, you will learn and never ever do what you've done again. I would like to speak to you guys every month. Because take my son alone cannot run to church. It takes a body of people that love God. Jesus had disciples. 
it took the body of a lot of people that love God genuinely. I'm not talking about just loving God just to come to church. And when you go to church to, to, to sing on the altar, you're not singing on just an altar. It is it's a sacred place. It's a place that is full of power. And if you don't have the dunamis power of God within you, if you don't have the spirit of God working inside of you, if you don't have the tenacity to speak on behalf of God, then you don't love God. You just go in there for a show. Then I need you to leave. If I'm not there and you can't leave, the Holy Spirit will put you in your face to leave i'm telling you this one right here you can't mess with her your witches your witchcraft your warlocks your gossip it can't mess with me at all because the anointing that i'm carrying on my life you have no clues how god places the anointing on a person's life and i had to suffer and suffer and suffer just to bring the church of god to where it is right now here in liberia and here in the united states so whoever had that gossip and that news that we are getting money from the white people no we're not getting no money from white people we get donations that's what helped the church to be the way it is today and that's what you guys are supposed to be doing donating to the house of God to build up the, the, the facility but in Liberian terms you guys are selfish mean and very rough you hate each other and those days of doing those things is over if you continue to do that you are dwelling in sin and you are coming against the wrath of God and when the wrath of God come against you it's a terrible thing oh you don't want to be called or hated by a God that is mad glory Glory to God. <coughs> Glory to God. You do not want to be handled by a God that is mad. Mm -hmm. You do not want to be handled by a guy that is on uh, that is uh that the apple of his eye he said touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm don't think because wait a minute let me take off my glasses so you can really see who i am you think because i look young so be so i i i'm some kind of stupid person running a church god gives me the wisdom he gives me the integral he gives me everything that i need to do and look at my son how big he is Oh, you guys better start respecting each other in the church. You better start praying for each other in the church because the wrath of God is coming. And the, 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 the wrath of God, when it enters into a church, the Bible says it is destruction will start in the church. And I bet you, all the time he's been teaching you the word of God, you don't have ears to hear. But many of you are looking and being very envious and jealous. That is a very dangerous spirit. Jealousy is a dangerous spirit. And if you can honor the man of God that bring the word to you every day, day you're not paying tithes you're not paying offering you're doing nothing for the church yes you want to sing then do it with all your heart for God you want to sing for Jesus you want to worship ask God to anoint you with the fire of the Holy Ghost so that you are able to to propitiate in the atmosphere and allow the Spirit of God to come down not you sinking but the Spirit inside you will sing for you will minister for you you will be under the anointing with fire those of you that are worshipers you ought to be constant created those of you that are worshipers you ought to be set apart those of you that are worshipers you ought to come with the shakana glory of god inside of you ah, you ought to come serving the almighty god it's not about you path of life is not about you path of life is all about god's work being established in the atmosphere in the earth itself when last have you gone to, to evangelize with the pastor aha uh -huh. when last have you gone to evangelize to bring souls into the kingdom instead you are running souls away from the kingdom and today i bind that spirit in that church i uproot that spirit i call the name of jesus upon that spirit let the blood let the blood clean that church up if everybody have to leave let them leave and the people that are serious of for god let them stay and bring worship into the house of god this is all i have for you um breath of life prayer and successory ministry in west africa i am life adele Kennedy, the overseer of Breath of Life Prayer Ministry. No, no money comes from nowhere. It comes from God and it comes to me. I work hard and God provides the provision to do what I do in both places. That's the way God operates. Stop the gossiping. Stop the bite by biting. Stop everything. And you will see the church flourish. 
I thank you, my son Kennedy, for being the best of the best that God has sent in Africa to do the things that you do. I tell you, if it wasn't for you, the whole church would be scattered. And I don't think I would have birth of church in Liberia if it wasn't for my son. Because I know how Liberians are. We are very selfish and jealous. Everything happens, the same thing y'all do here happens here in America. But I will not condone that in the house of God. I will not condone that under the, the, the root, under the mighty hands of Christ Jesus Christ. Because what's going to happen is, if I don't take actions now, y'all will go far and beyond. And the blood will be on my hands. I swear to God, it's not going to happen. Not under my, my ministry. Breath of life. Not under breath of life. We are called to be set apart. We're not called to be a bunch of haters of our own brothers, brethren in the church. Sisters, don't speak to sister, but they gather around to make clicks. Oh, I rebuke that spirit and I refuse for that spirit to enter breath of life. And I pray in the name of Jesus that that particular person that's causing that thing to happen, may, this, may, it, may their lives be scattered. And may it backfire on them in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. This is Pastor Life. I love you guys a lot. That's why I do what I do for the, for God's people. But you guys are very selfish, rude, and not full of in, in, intelligence at all. You must change from your wicked ways and go back to the hands of God. I'm very upset with you guys. You all at Breath of Life. God bless you.